Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and it's a regular playthrough, and we're going to pick up right where we left off in our last episode. So we are actually going to continue with secondary missions. We're going to try to pick up on our scientific research and weapons research and try to get these things taken care of. And mainly it's because they give us a lot more in regards to um, added benefits to the main mission line. So we're going to go ahead and continue with that. So, scientific research, we've got to return to the scientists, so let's head on in. Unknown life form. I passed my test. You, I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the Convergence or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. We're going to accept that. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Okay. So. We need to head to the coordinates. Let's see where these coordinates are. Right over there, about 12, 13 minutes away. We'll go ahead and take the personal vendetta over. There we go. And over to the observatory. Should only take a few seconds to get there. Not sure what that was. Link in the uh, audio there. Sorry about that. Odd. Now it looks like the audio for the game is a little bit loud. We're going to adjust that. Looks like this is my place I need to go to. So we're going to bring down the audio over here. Hang on just a second. That should be a little better. Okay, let's check out what we have to do next here. As usual, we're going to grab a couple supplies as we go. Since they're here, I'll turn off that light because obviously it needs to be turned off, right? Unbelievable. Alright. The interaction we get with certain things around us. Alright. It's a GEC observatory. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose. To locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. Download the data. So we have the data we need. we got to return to our scientists. Now, a lot of this is a little bit of a grind, but again, it's necessary to get done. And don't forget that while you're here, looks like we've already grabbed something from here, so obviously we've been to this observatory before. Okay, and we did get navigation data out of it anyway. That's cool. All right, let's head back to our base. Now, because they had landing points there that you saw with the green circular lines on the ground, circular lines, circular, the green circles on the ground indicate a landing zone that does not utilize your launch thrusters or the launch fuel that you could use. So we're going to land in our landing pad, and we won't have to use any launch fuel to take back off again. So. There we go. Let's talk to our scientist. Traveler, while you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data will have answer. Give data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Okay, well the save beacon's kind of important. It's nice to have. The convergence... Convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct one and the Convergence may find me again. Except, Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. Okay, so we need to build a beacon. To build the beacon, it requires... Two metal plates and some sodium nitrate. We've already got the sodium nitrate, so we just need to make the metal plates here, which one, two, takes it from the ferrite. Save beacon are very handy. 
And I am going to put one right over here, some place where I can utilize it. This looks like a good spot for you. And we can use it. There, see? We now have a save point. Return to the scientist. Is the beacon constructed, Traveler? Confirm. We shall wait. It may take time for the Convergence to find me. My own research proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. Which we get an autonomous mining unit and an atmosphere harvester, which are handy, but we can use them another time. Those atmosphere harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own Convergence? They shall be my children, Traveler. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon so that they might live and connect us to Corvax do, but it cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so that I might teach it. Analyst entity on a year's plan seems desperate, but it does seem to have genuinely make them happier, or at least an less anxious about their separation. The Corvax asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. Except you, we thank you, traveler. Okay, that's not creepy at all. So we gotta build these now. So, let's see what's involved. Uranium, which we happen to have. Two metal plates and an ion battery. And... Ammonia, metal plating, and hermetic, and two hermetic seals. And ammonia is gonna be kind of hard to come by at this point in time. So, what do we need to do? We have to scan for discoveries. Let's do that first. So you can scan pretty much anything here, as long as you scan things. We'll scan this rock. I'm not sure how much we'll have to scan. We'll just keep going. Oh, it wants us to scan creatures. Have we scanned all the creatures on this planet yet? Yes, we have. So we're gonna literally ha going to have to go to another planet to do this. That's not the button I meant to press. Let's try that again. So yes, you have to scan other creatures. Because if you try to rescan creatures you've already scanned, it simply won't let you. Okay. Let's see. Are these the only four planets we have available to us? Nothing closer? No. And no. Okay, so what do we got? Uh, we probably need to jet a little bit out of our atmosphere because we can't pick up these planets until we're further out. There we go. Lifeless. Well, we're not going to find anything there to scan. Shell strewn. Probably not going to be much there either. Boiling doom. Well, it'll have some creatures there, but let's move on someplace else. Boiling planet. Doesn't help much. And a sub-zero moon. Well, let's see, 1971, 1960, 1100. I think we're going to have to go here. So, let's head there. On our way. So we just need to scan four creatures. Let's just make sure... This one, I think, is the one we're heading towards. We only discovered three of the 14 creatures there, so we should be in good shape. Now, of course, we want to watch our pulse drive juice, as you can see there. It's at 63 right now, 62, so we want to keep an eye on that. But it definitely wants us to scan creatures, so we've got to do what he basically is asking us to do at this point. And in we go. Okay. One small, tiny little place there. That's not going to help us any. I want to just do one quick scan around to make sure I'm not going to find a landing zone. Something I can not use launch thrusters on. Oh, it's one of these planets. Huh. That's interesting. You don't see too many of those around. We're probably just going to have to land at this point. I'm actually very surprised. Oh, okay, this has the worms on it. Okay. Let's just land over here. 
We'll have to use a little bit of launch thrusters to get out of here, but that's okay. Now a worm, a titan worm, should jump out as soon as we exit, so it's going to go overhead. Two, three. There it is. That's a titan worm. You'll see them on these planets. They don't really do anything to you. You can't really scan them, so don't try. But you can scan this little guy. And we can try to scan him, but it won't let us, as you can see. So we're looking for little red dots. We've got one. There's another one on the other side of my ship here. There's two. Looks like there's one over there. Yep, there's three. And we just need one more. Check the skies, because you can find a lot of flying creatures on some of these planets. And there we go. Four. So we've discovered four, seven out of 14. Now to get a rough idea, if we discover the rest, we've got 3,500 nanites. So kind of a great idea if you could discover the rest. And obviously, since there's water on this planet, I almost guarantee you that some of those creatures are underneath in the water. Let's check out what those guys are. A tall crawler type guy, that's one. Were they underground, maybe? 146, so that's going to be over here. There he is, right there. That's a big guy. There we go. How many is that? Nine? And if you're curious as to where you're going to find the rest of the creatures, you can go back in here and check. And you can see I found these, and if I go down to the next level, I can see that there's one on the ground, there's another flying creature, and then one underwater, and two more underground. So those, the underground ones are always the hardest ones to find. Flying creatures might be difficult, because you've already discovered one, and the others might just be harder to discover because of that. Let's jump in the water and see if we can find any down there. So this is a good side idea to do, because you can get some early nanites this way. There we go. I've already discovered those. So we have one more underwater creature to discover, and I doubt I'm going to find it here. I'm probably going to have to look for an ocean. Pretty deep ocean to discover the last one. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're going to show. There we go. We'll take one more look around. In the sky too, just to be certain we're not going to find anything. And then what we'll do is we'll head over to the ocean to see if we can discover more. Because frankly, I want those 3,500 nanites. I don't know about you. That's usually a good idea. But it is telling us we can head back to our scientist, as you can see. So what I'll do is I'm going to head out into space real quick. And if you're wondering, my pulse lines are gone because I've added a mod. So that way they don't show up. It makes the video better for processing purposes and for your viewing pleasure. So this is an ocean, and most oceans will have at least a small piece of land here and there, like a small islet, if you will, that you might be able to land your ship on. You just have to look for it. Yeah, there's one right over there. Okay, let's take a look. Yep, see? Yeah, sometimes if you hit the ocean a little bit too hard. It can hurt. There's a lot of things you can gather under here, and more plants that you can discover as well. So. 
Okay, got a couple creatures that are showing up. The fourth creature under here may just be a little bit more difficult to show up. But my guess is it's a loner, one that slims, swims alone, and will take some time before it appears. Same thing with the flying creatures. I don't see him yet. It. It. We have no idea what it is. I'm trying to get up back up to the there we go. Surface because otherwise I'll run out of air. Okay. Now, some creatures, I will warn you in advance, some of the creatures that swim on the planets can sometimes attack you. They don't do a lot of damage, but they just are pests and kind of annoying. Not finding anything yet. Let's go swim out a little further here. So as you can see, this can get tough. That is an alluring specimen. It means it's a beautiful looking plant, but if you try to take what's on it, you can be attacked. So be careful. We won't try to harvest anything from the plant. But I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't found anything yet. Usually these creatures will show up about now. No harm in looking straight down, seeing if we can find something. We got five creatures to find. I don't know if we're going to find them all. Maybe we ought to give up on this one for now. We can find them on another planet at some point in time, and I'm sure we'll find things. So, it is what it is. Okay. I think I'm going to call it. I really thought that they would show up. Those are clams down below. I'm not sure why I did that. Hold on a second. There we go. The marker you can put down if you want to... You're looking someplace and you just need a temporary marker to get where you're going. So you remember where you have been or where you're going to or something along those lines. Take a quick look around, make sure we haven't missed anything. I don't see anything. So, on our merry little, little way. And... Good point. And since we're here... See? Animals will show up anywhere. Here's the rare creature we couldn't find. Kevin sees as an attacker, because he'd probably be attacking me right about now. Any flying creatures? I think we would have found something by now. For a boiling doom planet, you'd think that they'd be like heat storms and stuff like that, but I haven't seen anything. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and take off from here. This doesn't seem to be anything happening. Let's head back home. 37%, so we're going to have to keep an eye open on it. On our way. So, let's see... We want to charge that. How much do we need? We need that or that. I'll take a Radiant Shard, but I'll wait because I want to charge it up all the way. Same thing with the Luminescence Engine, which is going to basically... Luminance Engine. Pardon me. Luminance Engine. So, we'd like to wait for that to get really low before we have to use up one of our Radiant Shards. Inserting into the atmosphere. Two, one. There we go. Yeah, 
There we go. And we're coming in for a landing. Let's go let's see what the scientist has to say. Alright, what do you have to say, buddy? Do you have the data, Traveler? My child cannot see the world as you see it. To share your scans will you will be to share your consciousness with them. It is a tremendous gift. Hand it in. You, what sights? By way of thanks, my child has prepared for it has prepared you a blueprint. They have learned how to use, pardon me, how to make unstable gel. They hope it makes you happy. Okay. Traveler, this data has raised a concern. As a beacon, my child could receive signals from unknown sources all across the galaxy. I will be unable to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek, or the harsh scans of the Sentinels. If you find ion batteries, I will prepare polyfiber blueprints and we shall weave, weave them a protective cloak. Okay. Do not delay, Traveler. Their young mind is very impressionable. <laughs> Wait a couple moments. Because it's recognizing the fact that you are going to have them, so it just takes a couple seconds. Oh, we need, we need two more ion batteries. So do we have any cobalt? We do. We can make two more. There we go. And I'll make one more, maybe two more for myself. Okay, good. Ah, uh, Traveler, I had a nightmare a few days ago. This is something we share, is it not? In my dream, I cried out for the convergence, but no response came. I cried out for you, but you only laughed. And finally, I cried out for my beacon. Nothing answered. Do you understand what this means? Hmm. It means nothing, or it means we are alone? I think it means we are alone. I tell the scientists their dream reflects their inner state, that their loneliness is filling their subconscious, spilling out into their dreams. This does not serve to make them happy. Okay, so we're returning again. Have you found the ion batteries, Traveler? The Corvax looks anxious. Their disconnection from the convergence and their anxiety for their child is taking its toll. Perhaps the batteries will help them settle. We give the batteries. Thank you, Traveler. It is good we can protect the little beacon, but I fear it may not be enough. You should take a copy of the polyfiber plans. They may be of some use to you. Now, please, give me some time to educate my child. May I have polyfiber now? And you see, I have a time remaining an hour and a half. So it's time to go to another task. So scientific research is put on hold. We'll go to weapons research. Let's talk to this guy right here. Shut down the weapons factory. So we have to head to a weapons factory that it discovered for us, which is right there. Let's go and shut it down. About to start a fight. Like I said, you don't want to go to any of these facilities until you get them in your mission, because some of the facilities nearby you are going to be needed. Okay, it's proximate. There is something over here to our left. I think that might be it. You'll know it if there's any sentinels wandering around. I think we have sentinels wandering around. So as you can see, you got your main sentinel here, which is a protection sentinel. And you got a healing sentinel right there. So keep an eye open on them. We'll take that. We'll take whatever's in there. There we go. So now to get into this weapons facility... You have to shoot your way through the door. Mining beam won't cut it. So we're going to use our bolt caster. And it is going to attract attention. You'll see. And as you can see, here they come. And they're kind of angry. Whoop, there's a guy right behind me too. There we go. Funny part is, once you're inside, for some reason they can't detect you. But they will come inside with you, and they still can't detect you, which is absolutely hilarious to me. See, watch this. See? He can't find you. So if you just want to take out some sentinels... See? So we got some nanites out of that. Some ammunition. And hopefully some glass, maybe? No? Now, you could take them on if you want. I 
There we go. So he can't call in anymore. I do want some glass, if I can get it. As soon as you go through the doorway, they can't find you anymore. It's absolutely hilarious. And they keep repairing him. He doesn't come in far enough for me to repair him. Uh, to take him out completely. That's really funny. And you know how I feel about these sentinels. I'm always attacking them. Yeah, there's another healer out there, so he'll get healed. Now you get Pugnium from them. That's all you'll get. Hi. There we go. We got some salvage glass from him. Okay, so both healers are gone. Oh, we had one more. Okay. So there's probably one more or two more guys out there. I'm going to go ahead and take this last guy out, because I just wanted a little extra glass and pugnium, because we can use it later. So now new sentinels are going to arrive, but I'm going to just duck in here and not, not confront them. I'm done with them. So let's get on with the mission. Yeah, I don't feel like messing with them. Production status, 95% efficiency. The factory was indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry, just as the Viking claimed. I should shut down the production and see what can be gleaned from their systems. So we override production. New blueprint accepted. Beginning fabrication. I override the production line, substituting their blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. I take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it. Leave. So we're done. While we're here, let's get some extra nanites. And since they can't find me anymore, they've shut down and not going to do anything anymore. So, pretty good, huh? Let's see what we got out of this. So we got two of these. That gave us something, I don't know what. Dihydrogen jelly, it said. And it gave us a magnetic resonator. So, tools that we can use indeed. We do have toxic protection, but as you know, there's nowhere to put it right now. I'll use some phosphorus there. Okay, good deal. So I think we are ready to get out of here. Now, watch what happens. See? Just wander away. They won't attack you. So, as long as you get them to shut down like that, you should be in good shape. Okay, probably because I just defeated some sentinels. Alright, so let's head back to the weapons console and our weapons master and see what he has to say. Ah, nighttime coming. Beautiful place. I like the glowy places a little bit better, but this is nice. Whoops, I landed at the wrong landing pad. <laughs> no big deal. Now, if you want to, while we're here, we'll put that in there. And put that in there, because we don't need to use it right now. So, let's see. What else we got in here? We got some runaway mold. Argo bulkhead, which is chargeable. Okay, some cadmium. Interesting. I forgot what we had in here. So, this is all good stuff to have. Alright, let's go inside. And talk to our weapons guy. Scout Ling. You have shut down their production, Interloper. Perhaps we shall make a Viking of you yet. Confirm. Excellent work, Interloper. Ra, did you obtain any technology of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. So we have a cadmium drive now. Uh, it looks like we have all the tools to build it as well. Steal yourself, Interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Gra, they will provide practice for your weapons. Attack, Gra. Attack. Burn their hives of villainy and sin. Let them know that this is no one's sky but ours. No, it's no man's sky, is it? No one's? Oh, well, that's not important. As they tell me of the pirates, the armorer begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. 
The armor alerts me to the presence of pirate ships orbiting this world, asking me to go and fight them. I agree. Grah. Fight well, Interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our home world. Okay, so let's go to our starship for a second. Uh, let's see. So our... That's an Illuminance Drive. This is our FTL. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add this cadmium drive here which takes chromatic metal which we have and three wiring looms which we have so now it boosts our hyperdrive lane range just a little bit but allows us also to, to visit red star systems so that's very important so this is a good addition to our to our unit here oh, i didn't know we had this in here let's get rid of that uh let's see we got pugnium on us so Okay, we're running a little low on chromatic metal. Okay. There we go. All right. So we've created created a task, or created, we have completed a task of installing that unit. So that's the reason for the weird music that you just heard. All right. So we have to return to our ship and proceed to space. Let's get into our, get ourselves into a little bit of a space battle here get going so it's choose chosen a different there we go objective there we go so we should be in space now there we go where is he locate the vessel I'm trying to oh okay you can see the Icon, there it is, there it is, right in the sky. Okay. Ready? We're gonna head there. How long will it take to get there? 30 seconds at this speed. Let's just go ahead and pulse over there. Alright, let's chase after one. Take him out. Shields drop. Take him out with your missiles in one shot in normal mode. Usually it just weakens them a little bit more. And don't shoot your... I'm just waiting to see. Okay, it says return to the armor. Okay. So don't shoot those uh, missiles if they're too close to you, because there is other damage. The damage can affect you as well. straight myself out. Now you saw we got a couple items from those pirates. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at them. One of them is, I believe, a Starship Shield battery. Which I can't use on this ship, but that's okay. Uh, let's park there. Okay, so we got some Starship Shield batteries, but we also got hmm, superconducting fiber, which is worth some money. So we'll leave it on the ship and we'll sell it later. Okay. Let's see what our armorer has to say. Is it done, Interloper? Have you purged those vile beings from our air? Confirm. Gra, well fought, Interloper. To be young, to kill again, Gra, how I envy you. Interloper, there is both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. Hunt them down, Interloper. Well, hunt them down, interrogate them for potential weapons technology, and then consign them to the Great Abyss. Gra. Scout Ling is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hump, but this energy cannot disguise the fact they appear to be weakening. Has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? The armorer wishes for me to find one of the escaped pirates and take any technology they might possess. Accept. This is your prize into Loper. Weapons, technology, and a part to do with as you will. Gra, make our ancestors proud. Okay. So, we're gonna head out and go find this dude. Find and interrogate the pirate, so we're going to follow our direction. There should be another place over here we can check out. It says approximate location. It's usually another minor. There it is. Minor trading post. And... 
There you go. Bucking Gek. Bucking Gek? Really? Like a Buccaneer? That's hilarious. Friend, such a wonderful hour for our meeting. Know that the pirates held me captive, that I had nothing to do with their illegal activities. Tell Gek Trade Federation I'm innocent, yes? Here, take this. Take this as a token of my goodness, friend. Keep mouth shut. Lifeform offers me their advanced survival blueprints. They claim to have been a captive of the pirates, but I have my doubts. The blueprints appear to be given only in exchange for my silence. I take the advanced survival blueprints and leave. There's nothing more for me here. Okay. So we got some advanced survival blueprints, but we don't have them. They're going to be decrypted for us. Hey, while you're here, always take a look around. Now, I have a pretty decent multi-tool, correct? Yes. C-Class. Granted, but it's got lots of good stuff on it. There's this one here, but it's also C-Class and really not worth my time. Now, did we... I didn't check that. I jacked laser and a mining beam. How interesting. Why is the mining beam being used? Shouldn't the hijacked laser be used? Interesting. Okay. All right. Can we get some credits? All right. Not much. Can we sell something? Let's sell from our starship the... Where'd it go? There it is. Ah, we're not getting anywhere near as much as we could for it, but that's okay. It's still 40,000 more, more than we had, even though we were running at 17 million. Okay. And I don't think we had anything on our starship inventory that was really worth selling right now. No. We need everything that's in there, so we're good. Anything worth buying? And maybe some of this. Uh, let's see. Maybe a little more cobalt. Chromatic metal. We'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, good. Then I'll get my offers back the way they should be. Okay, let's head back now. This way we go, right over the hill, and to, to our base. And we'll choose our landing pad this time. Excellent. Okay, so we have hopefully taken care of our warrior, Scout Ling. It is done then? Have you made them suffer? The armor begins to cough. They do not appear to be in good health. But we'll confirm. I shall decrypt their data into Loper. Make it may it bring you glory, but I have another task for you. It is almost the end. So I get Starship Boundary and Unstable Plasma. Unstable plasma is very handy. There is a structure on this world, a deep little consequence, but to the Sentinels, Gra, they will defend it to their last drone. Attack it, draw the ire of the Sentinels, then our heart hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon is fit for our great war. Scout Ling appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping them alive. The Viking asks that I destroy a depot so that the Sentinels will seek us out. They promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade while I'm away. Except, Go. I will put your weapon into Loper. You can. You can rely on my work. Okay, so he's really in bad shape here. So. Now, it's a good thing I did not destroy this depot earlier because we need it. So as you can see, here it is. Now, if I attack it from the air, I'll be attacked by pirates in the air. So I'm going to attack it on the ground. Okay. Caster. Looks like we're all set. So we got these guys down here. They're going to be ticked off. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get hit by that plant. That's what I'm going to do. You can't stop me. Alright, so we're going to take this guy out immediately. Take out the depot. There we go. 
Now we could stay and fight, but these guys are going to mean business. See? There we go. I'll take that. And let's get out of here. Now what we're going to do is we're not actually going to run back to our ship. We are going to just run away long enough for that them to forget we exist. As you can see, 10 seconds worth. Just keep out of their line of sight for a few moments. And done. Okay, so we're done with them. Now we go back to our ship and head back home. Ooh, that was neat. <laughs> All right. in for a landing. Okay. Off to the armorer. I have detected them. Their eye is upon us. You have done it, haven't you? Your actions have summoned them. Confirm. I am sorry, Interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module and prepare for their arrival. Oh, a plasma launcher. How nice. We need an amino chamber and a wiring loom. They approach, but before the final fight, I have another task for you. I need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance, an offering freely given by the young to their elders, that may yet restore me. I myself spent years enmeshed within the harvest circuits, my organs sacrificing their enzymes for the fleet. I was glad to do so, but we need not repeat such torment today. Enzyme remnants found on Viking daggers should be enough to heal me now. Whatever sacrifice Scout Ling made for others, they do not appear to have reaped the same benefits in their old age. The Viking's body is scarred, their speech labored. I not imagine that they will survive another year. The armor requires Viking daggers to prevent their further decline, except. The Viking appears relieved. They say nothing, but there is a look of hope behind their tired eyes. Remember those uh, Viking daggers we got? Now you know why we hung on to them. So I do want to install this unit in here, which is this, but I need a hermetic seal, a wiring loom, and an amino chamber. Now I think I can make, if I'm not mistaken, a hermetic seal. Where is it? The amino chamber, I'm not sure. Let me check. No, we can't make that. We'll have to get one. Obviously we need a wiring loom. By the way, what do we get? Okay, I'll have to put that in there. It's this high-end battery. And we got some nitrogen out of that, and some nitrogen salt. We got some good good stuff out of this. I'll put this in my starship. Uh, nitrogen we can't really use much of. Okay, good. Let's go put some of these in our storage. Like that. And we need our Viking dagger daggers, so we're going to go ahead and grab them. So before we go any further, let's go ahead and add the one piece to our plasma launcher. We need that. We need an amino chamber and a wiring loom, which we can get. I am just walking through things to get where I'm going here. That's really weird. Okay, so we need... Unstable plasma is the ammunition for the plasma launcher. So we want to grab a few of those. Eh, four should do. We're not going to use too much more of that. I can't get amino chambers here, but this guy over here might have them. Purchase components. Yeah, we can get a wiring loom. And there it is, amino chamber. So we're good. He only had one, too. I could have gotten hermetic seal here, too. Alright. Let's sell some stuff. Let's get rid of the nitrogen. Uh, let's see, the Magna Gold, the Grantine, and is that it? Is that all I have? I think that's all I had. Yeah, that's it. We're good. Oh, nitrogen salt. Got some good money for that. Alright, so guess what we can do now? And it's now repaired. And it's at 100%, but it uses, again, it uses unstable plasma. So now if you look up above at our weapon... You'll see that it has a mining beam, and you see a secondary thing at the top left, which, which says plasma launcher. That is your secondary weapon. 
which you use your second mouse button for. Okay. So that's done. Let's go give him his Viking dagger, daggers. Daggers. Good grief. I have not been idle in your absence until I have crafted another upgrade module for your ship, but the daggers. I can smell the battle enzyme from across the room. Give them to me. Give them the daggers. It takes the dagger and plunges it into their own arm. They immediately revive their spirits res restored. And we get a phase beam, which I'm never going to ever, ever going to install on my ship. Useless weapon. Now we are ready, interloper. The sentinels are here, and you shall head out to meet them. This day shall be glorious, traveler, as is has, as it has been before, and shall be again. Viking, Viking looks at me with pride. I seem to have provided them with renewed purpose. Of this, I am glad. But placing my world under threat, getting me to summon so many sentinels for a pointless battle. When I am back, I will need to speak to the armor about the future. The armor warns me that multiple sentinel forces have arrived near our home. I must defeat them. Gra, 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 gra. Okay, great. He's gra away. I am not gonna. No, oh, he's giving me all of them. Positron ejector, which is good. It's like a short uh, shotgun effect on your ship. Good deal. All right. Well, let's go to here. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Well, hmm. I might. All right. So we got a big battle coming up. We need more ammunition. I'm gonna. Inst get a little bit more. I'm going to keep these in here for our purposes of needing them. Bolt caster, back to it. We're all set. Let's go. Did you hear that? There's our weapon. Let's get started. Now, first things first. See what it did. It actually did damage to it. That's the plasma launcher, not the other unit. I'm going to take out this guy because I don't want him summoning anybody else. There we go. And you, the healer, you need to go. Okay, back to you guys. Oh, where'd you come from? There we go. All right. They're arriving in six, five, four. Let's go in here for just a second. Let's see what we got, because hopefully if we got an upgrade, it would be nice, but probably not. No, we got some pugnium out of them. That's it. So you can go through all five stages if you wish, or you could duck out. Oh, he's here. Remember, he charges, so you've got to keep moving. And they're calling in more units there. Oops, I dropped down. There we go, we'll reload. Remember, he can shoot you from a distance, too. I need to take out some units here, and I need my shields to recharge. Hopefully they'll start recharging here in a second. Shields still aren't recharging for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Got one. Got a two. Whoop. Oh, he's out too.
Got him. This is a tough fight because you don't really have the ammunition you need or the weapons you need in order to get these guys. If I can get some upgrades from these guys, that would help. Yep, not getting the upgrades I want from these guys. Yeah, the walker's going to be tough. Can they see me in here? I don't know. We could summon anybody. Oh, we've got one out here too. Okay, good. We should be getting that uh, combat unit dropping at any time now. Oh, I think I can hear him. There he is. Oh, crap. stuck there. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Okay. High place. Yep. Let's get that while we're here. There you are. Okay, good. we got other ones. Look at your map up above, or your radar up above, and you can find some other guys. Okay. Oh, oh, hey. Um, this is lucky. He won't move from that spot, so we got lucky here. This isn't going to happen again, so take advantage of it. There we go. Let's take a look. Hoping to get there. That's what I was hoping to get. Well, it's a little bit better. A little bit more damage, but not by much. Am I at level 5 yet? Yes, I am. So I gotta watch out for the for him, because he'll be shooting lasers at me. And you want to get take out all those guys if you can, all the healing units and the call-in units. Because they'll just keep calling in more and more help, and you don't want that. Oh, yeah, hi there. Now, he hurts. Okay. I think I might have gotten lucky there. I think I'm out of the way. Yeah, he's not hitting me that much at all. Oh, got another call-in unit. He is hitting me a little bit. Okay. Got him. Okay. Because he can heal the armor on the legs of the walking unit. Oh, that hurt. Pick out the legs. There we go. Get up high. And reset. That does extra damage, so go ahead and launch those as you can. He's going to start getting angry soon. Nope. Oh, hello. Where's he at? He's over there.
Oh, yeah. Those things hurt. Oh, crap. Yep, okay, there we go. Go around the other side, shall we? So does that. Wow, okay. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna see if we can get our shields to recharge here. This is turning into quite the episode, isn't it? I think they know I'm in here, but they can't attack me. Come on, shields, recharge. Oh. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Okay. They shot me through the building. Okay, we definitely need our shields to recharge, and hopefully they can't shoot me while I'm in here, because that would be really annoying. Come on now. Come on, shields. There we go. So now we're down one heart. we got to remember that. And they aren't searching for me, so they know I'm here. Okay, so that's who I'm seeing out there. I don't know if he can see me in here. Guess we'll find out. Where's the other guy? He's over there. I'm not sure if he can shoot me in here or not. Okay. Because those combat supplies will also heal me. So I just got my heart back. Okay. I can't get in. Why can't I get in? Oh, oh crap. Let's do a little fancy flying, shall we? Got him. Ah, so that, as you can see, disables the network. So that was quite the battle. That was quite the battle. So we want to get both walker brains out of this. We got to get close enough to get on top of it. So, because it stayed up there. So you just select it. You get a walker brain. And if you shoot it, you'll get a second one. There's the second one. Ow. Not bad. So we're done. Uh, did I get all of the combat supplies? Fifty sentinels. I don't even know how many I beat. Hole. Found a hole. Sixty sentinels. Did I really defeat that many? Yep, 60, huh? Wow. Oh, there is some combat supplies right there. Uh, there they are. Go ahead and grab it. I think that's the only one there was, so I think we're good otherwise. Okay. Alright, so we gotta head back in. Yeah, that was uh, kind of dicey, wasn't it there? Kind of crazy. Okay, looks like we got that out of it. Get the hard thing. They hang on to these things too for now. You'll need them later on, so I might as well hang on to those. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to him. This should end the quest line for the weapons master. Or the armorer. You survived where Herc fell, traveler. Forgive me. I was wrong. My whole life I was wrong. It is not the dead that deserve our service, it is the living. It is you, traveler. It is you and you alone. 
Baikim promises not to cause any more trouble for the base, apologizing profusely, telling me that the living deserve service more than the dead, that I, am that I especially am worthy of their aid. The armor rewards me with a token of my great victory. Accept. It has been an honor to serve you, Traveler. Go in glory. Go on in glory. Get a combat scope out of it. That's pretty cool. Grah, Traveler. I have been inspired by your actions to craft a multi-tool of great power. Would it please you to examine it? Sure. Behold, Traveler. What a piece of cra I'm just kidding. Not bad. It's not bad. It's got a... a, a, a a supercharged slot over here. It's a B class. You could grab it, but you're gonna have to repair that ever living crap out of this thing. So, up to you. I'm gonna decline it for now, but we may come back. You can always get it later. So there we are. That is it in a nutshell. So the the scientist is still not gonna be done for a little while yet. You can go back to that. We can install the combat scope. I guess I don't know if we find it. We are that we can but see with scientific research we're going to have to wait a little bit we still have an hour to take care of that so what we're going to do is we're going to come back in the next episode and we'll go ahead and complete that out um, i'm going to put some things away that i'd like to hang on to nope sorry wrong button that one we're going to keep the brains we're going to keep that and that we'll sell that we'll keep one of those computers See, the combat scope, uh, the walker brain comes in, in handy for combat, uh, uh, the combat scanner on your ship. So it's a good idea to hang on to that if you can. Okay, I think that should do it. And we're going to go ahead and put this over in our ship. We have plenty of pugnium now. It comes in handy for all kinds of different things. So it's good to hang on to that. As you can see, we've gathered up quite a bit now. So good, good deal. And it was a good run. It was a good run. Good run for today. I agree. All right, so combat scope, if we want to install that, we do have no slots available on our weapon to put that in. So we'll have to wait on that. So maybe if we upgrade this or find ourselves a new one, maybe? I don't know. Sounds like a good plan. We can try doing that. So let's go ahead and call it here. Let's get on here and call this episode done. We want to thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.